Landscape is in our newsroom with a closer look at the problem. Good afternoon. Since Tuesday, Bloomington police have responded to nine overdoses, five of those happening in just a nine hour period. Now, thankfully, no deaths have been reported there, and many of those victims were given naloxone. That's a powerful drug that reverses the effects of a heroin overdose before they were rushed to the hospital. And Bloomington isn't the only central Indiana city dealing with this problem right now. In fact, earlier this week, we reported that in just three days, Muncie had 13 calls for overdoses, with at least three of those victims dying. Dispatcher was there telling us they were simply overwhelmed with all the frantic calls they've been receiving for help. Back to Bloomington now, police there say they're in the process of interviewing all those individuals who overdosed uh, this past week, trying to get more information on exactly where this a bad batch of heroin, as they are calling it, came from. In the newsroom this afternoon, Kyle and Skeet, CBS 4 News. And caught on camera, <laughs> chaos in the courtroom. You see it here. A defendant lashing out, throwing chairs at the judge and the staff. Yesterday, 20-year-old Jordan Rhodes showed up an hour and a half late for his probation hearing in Bartholomew County. Officers tell us Rhodes was yelling even after the judge held him in contempt of court. When he was given a one-year sentence, he started launching chairs from the back row of the room. Here he goes right there. He had a deputy prosecutor in the leg. Additional charges including battery. Caught on camera again, police in Johnson County released this video hoping to track down an arsonist. It's difficult to see, but police are saying this video shows someone parking a stolen 1999 Pontiac Montana minivan at the Boys and Girls Club in Franklin. Investigators tell us this van was stolen from a house that was set on fire on December 14th, just days after this video was taken. There was a $2 or rather $2,000 reward if you can help police make an arrest in the case. The wrecking ball is swinging at the former Indiana.